to the uh, to the secret huts. It's got uh, you've taken the blindfold off. <laughs> um, so ah! Obviously, you don't know where you are, but I can tell you we're still in Sydney. Yes, we sure are. And um, yeah, these huts were uh, they started in the earlier part of last century. They were they were built. Um, I think I believe it was Irish. Irish uh, backpackers looking for gold uh, back in uh, the early 1900s and uh, they, they built these huts as a secret community Ooh. and um, they were occupied up until the 80s believe it or not until national parks decided that they'd be better off under their care and national parks have a policy of not allowing Slow me down if I'm going too fast. No, you're you. good. And not allowing uh, anyone to live in a national park unless they're employed by national parks. So these huts have uh, remained pristine and hidden since that time. And um, today we're we're on the lookout for them. We're gonna we're gonna find the huts and reclaim them. That's right. For the common man. There. For the common man. We're gonna move our families into these huts. <laughs> Rent is cheap, the view is fantastic. Yes. So what more could you want? We want to go primitive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's no water or electricity. <laughs> did I mention that? That's alright. How did they live 200 years ago? Come on. Yeah, well. It's dangerous too, by the way. Oh yeah. There's a lot of danger involved. What? Like sharks, snakes, crocodiles? Sharks, there'll be sharks Spiders. and dolphins. Oh, gotta watch for those killer dolphins. Wow, we're going everywhere. So the GPS system here is uh, taking us on a big trail. Phew. Yeah, I've got the GPS program to take us to the nearest pizza hut. <laughs> <laughs> the primitive hut. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone for an hour drive. We're gonna find these primitive huts that were closed down in the 1980s. <laughs> They're super hard to find. <laughs> okay, it's in that pizza. Hut. <laughs> we're taking off a day of work. We're out in, on an adventure. <laughs> Trying to find these exclusive places. Nobody knows where these places are. <laughs> they used to have all you can eat. <laughs> Dessert bars. Yes. Here we go. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting a bit primitive here. Oh yes, yes. No here. Cutter. What I'll do about the primitive look is I'll, I'll just shoot all of the big trees big here. Trees. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bump us around here. <laughs> Whoa. We're on the, we're on the heavy duty roads. <laughs> what I think is cool about this is that this is a very hard to find place, and like you say, if it's true, if it's so hidden. It's in the middle of one of the biggest cities in the whole and world. Smack bang in the middle. And smack on bang Sydney in the world. Harbor. On Sydney Harbour. Probably the most popular harbour in the entire world. And here it is. Oh, we're getting closer. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll come back with you soon. So over there you've got North Head, Manly. Manly over there. North Head of Sydney Harbour over there. And uh, we just crossed over this body of water coming through, uh, which is why your shoes are now wet. <laughs> All right, so here I am with Nico, and what we're doing is we're looking for some exclusive huts that are in the middle of this huge city of Sydney. And Nick's telling me that these huts are at a very hidden place, and that very few people know where these huts are, and that they've been closed down since the 1980s and we were actually looking for this trail that is very hidden and very exclusive, very out of the way. And we're in the middle of a national park here in Sydney, Australia. So, as we're looking for these huts, I'm gonna charge ahead and find what I can find. Don't, uh, because don't, we're on an adventure. Don't get too fast, it's pretty slippery. All right, so we got some wise here. I see a little trail here. It's here somewhere. Hey. Yeah, this is this is probably it. Yeah, but Nick, you said that it's gonna be kind of a hidden path. Yeah. It's like a walkabout path. Looks like you can hurt a, a thousand paths. Oh, here we go. The path here. Yeah, there's a path here. Yeah, 
that's it, man. You think it's it? No more than me, brother. It's a little bit too heavy. I'm gonna feel right. Alright. Okay. Hey, slow down. What's up? This is something here, bud. Come on, mate. We've got, <laughs> we've, we've got some foliage. We've got a, we've, we've got something that looks like a path here, man. Couldn't hurt this the, looks, herd cattle in here. This looks promising. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nobody, nobody would have a pizza hut down this way. This is where the real huts are. I reckon it's true, man. Here we go, Nick. What do you think, brother? What do you think? I think we you found think, it. You think this is it? <laughs> <laughs> On an adventure in the middle of Sydney. So, uh, what's the deal? Is there anybody that lives out here, Nick? Yeah, there's a caretaker that can live here for up to two weeks. They, uh, they love to, to come and look after the place, you know, keep it like in the condition it was when they were living here. Yeah. So, yeah, very tight-knit community, and as you can see, access is uh, it's quite tricky. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Is that why nobody knows where this place is? That's it. It's that's secret. it. Let's go. Is that it? Is that one? Yeah, can you see it? It's up there. Oh yeah. That's Over right. there is the, the heads of Sydney Harbour. That's where the ocean meets the harbour. And if you look over there, you can see Centre Point Tower, which is the centre of Sydney. Sydney CBD. That's right. All right, mate. Let's go make this trip. Let's make it happen. Let's get out there. It's tricky from here on in. That's right. Got to get across this terrain here. I think let's get back on the path. Walk path. <laughs> so what does it say here, Nick? We're onto something here, Scott. This is the Crater Cove sign. Wow. Welcome to Crater Cove. Caretaker on duty. No dogs. Two hundred dollar fine. So. Lucky we left the dogs at home. <laughs> uh, so this sign is our first indication of uh, civilization. Yeah. And um, this sign was actually made from the side of the Endeavour ship, which was the actually the vessel that um, Captain Cook came in on. And this wood washed up on shore after the ship was destroyed in a freak storm. Wow. In 1809. Um, and they uh, reused the wood for signage all through Sydney, uh, so that um, so that the ship would live on. Right on. So, what was it that people were doing out here? Like, what what kind of lifestyle? Like, this is very remote. Well, I think um, I think the huts will, will answer that question for us. I don't want to preempt um, the discovery. All right. Because uh, I think you'll find the huts uh, tell a story. All right, let's do it. Getting close, brother. Yeah, getting close. That's it. I'll tell you what, you wouldn't want to come down here with all your supplies on your back. Yeah. All got to come in by, by walking. Keep going, Scott. There's only 5Ks to go. All right, this is the final sign before we enter the huts area. That's right. And uh, I'm not sure what this sign actually says. It could be a warning um, to visitors. Uh, it could be a welcome. We, we, we just don't know. It's been lost over time. But what we do know is that it's a high fire risk area and that um, 
only a, a small fire could start something that could engulf the huts and we'd lose them forever. So uh, no smoking, please. That's right. And what a gorgeous stuff. place to walk in, hey? So here we are, Scott. We're about That's to it, walk brother. into the huts. That's it, man. It's been a bit of a walk. You better wipe that sweat off your brow. That's it, bro. Tuck your shirt in. Pull your socks up. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Let's go, Let's Shay. Go check it out. Here's the first one. Oh, wow. What do you see? How cool! Look at this hut! <laughs> look at all the rock, look at all this, look how it's built on all these rocks! This is incredible! Man, look at this view! <laughs> <laughs> you can see why they'd want to live out here! Just the absolute pristine beauty of this view! Man, they should almost uh, make these huts into a vacation spots if they could. Well, they were. Yeah. Okay. So, you can tell that it's inhabited. Wow, how cool. How incredible. Look at the, the stones and everything. They've got a little bed that's right out the window. Wow, it's just incredible. All right, so Nico, what you do really for your job is is you own Sydney Lawn and Gardens, and you know yeah. lots about plants. Oh, I know a bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what's what's with all these plants out here? Oh, this is um, ginger, actually. Our pinia is a rumbut. It's a it's a ginger plant. It's got a beautiful flower. There's one up here at the moment. If you can see that. Oh yeah. Way up here. Yeah. This one is a nice fresh one just here. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh yeah. And um, the, oh, it's actually nice. the root, the rhizome on this that, um, that is the ginger that you'd know. Yep. And we could literally pull one of these out, um, wash it, and uh, put it in our, in our soup uh, to give it ginger flavour. Really? So that's probably why it's here. Right on. So. Cool. I smell something. I can, I can sense something up here. Alright, let's go check it out, brother. It looks like there's a hut just up here that's um, a little bit more off the, off the beaten track. Just so incredible that this is in the middle of Sydney. A city of what, seven million? And this is right in the middle of it. How incredible. <laughs> it even says, the town hall, wow. I'll sneak inside. This one says Simmons on it. Oh, cool. That is so cool. Wow. That is really neat. Talk about an old school fire pit. There's your hot water system. Yeah? On the roof. How's that work? It just heats up in the sun. You link the water into it and it just heats up in the sun. Yeah. So you could have a hot shower. Yeah. Or hot water. Somebody's got their guitar in there. Cool. It's a water lizard, eh?
one of the many creatures that you can expect to come around and visit you when you live at these huts. It does seem quite tame. Yeah, really tame. Yeah. Simon's friend, that's that. So when you say a water lizard, does that mean that he'd actually live partly in the water? It's his habitat? Well, they live next to the water. It's fascinating, this guy. Yeah, he's looking for a bit of food. Thinks we might have a snail for him. He's the gardener. Looks after the... Maybe we do have a snail for him. See what? He's <laughs> very curious about us, isn't he? When was the last time that you took out a day to discover something new? It is so refreshing to discover and to have adventures in life. Some of the most amazing adventures that you can take are in your own backyard or in your own city. You could go out geocaching, hike down a new trail and discover a new piece of history. You could take a tour of your city, camp near your home in a new spot, do a Google search for interesting tours or adventures near your home and more. Discover more about your life and who you are by getting out of your house and take an adventure. The adventure that Nick and I took was inspired by an idea to find these remote huts that are right in the city that we live. It took us a few hours one day and we captured the experience on video to relive the adventure and to showcase for you how you can take a similar adventure in a location near you. Live with passion by going on an adventure near you. Yes, this is me in Primer Stroh. I have to find out whether or not this loser is alive or dead. Maybe he needs us. Yeah. He's alive. Yeah. He's back in there. Hopefully he doesn't fall inside that chimney. <laughs> by, by walking. Not by helicopter. No helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is where it gets this is where it gets cool. So, yeah. just take a deep breath, Scott. And uh, we're about to walk into something very special. All right. So, uh, are you ready? I'm ready to go. Well, let's uh, let's go check this thing yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Are they ready on TV Land to check what we're gonna see out? You better get ready here on TV Land. What we have here is an ancient parchment. This was written by Governor Philip in 1827. What this does is it tells the story of the common man and how in Australia it's every common man's right to have a house on the water. And so they built these five huts as an example of what the common man, what the common Australian deserves. So you said that it's a, a very hidden kind of path. Yeah, no, you're right. It's not this one. Maybe head back the other way. Hey! 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 <laughs> hey hold your No, it wouldn't be that. No. Hang on. Oh, hang on. It's got that kind of hidden kind of feel, brother. This is where I go if I wanted to be hidden. Are you sure this is a path? It's got to be a pizza hut around here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Well done. I reckon we're on the trail, buddy. <laughs> I think if you zoom in, you'll see that that's the um, the Prime Minister. That's how he gets to work in the mornings. Oh yeah. He um. That's called the habit shoot. Yeah. He actually lives just around the corner in uh, a Kimberley house there. <laughs> that's a true story. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I did, yeah. <laughs> Red. Red. Oh yeah, and we got like the lens flare from the sun on this one. Oh, this job's gonna rock. Okay, so you say something on the side. Yeah, alright. One, two, three, go. Keep going, Scott. You gotta keep pushing ahead. That's it, brother. Keep pushing in. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, look at that shot with the lens flare, oh, eh? Awesome. Isn't it? <laughs> Wait, Scott. We're close. We're very close. Yeah, what does it taste like? Tastes like victory. Oh, that's right, brother.